Hello again, it's Melissa. Um, today I want to show you how to do this crochet pattern for sunflowers or for just pretty colorful flowers. Um, if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe and like, maybe give me a comment. So this sunflower is made out of, I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby. This one is made out of Lion Brand 24 seven cotton. Um, I found this um, article or this pattern on um, Pinterest. Uh, Wanda with a pattern to follow had it listed on her blog and I believe she got the a pattern originally from paper wool and yarn and um, so with this this one has been blocked and this one has not so see the points are a little more um, you know uh, flattened out here and then this is just a fresh one that I haven't um, blocked yet um, they're cute either way though um, I think this one makes it look more like a, a flower and this one more like the sunflower so anyhow, um, if we want to get started, I'm going to make um, a gray center and then I want to make the yellow um, petals on the other one. You're going to need a blunt needle in order to weave in your ends um, for this. And then you're going to need scissors and of course a crochet hook. Now um, with this yarn, um, I chose to use the 4.5 millimeter crochet hook so that my size would come out to uh, work for a nice um, coaster size. So we're going to start with a magic circle. Oh, sorry, I'm bad about hitting this camera post. Okay, so we're gonna start with a magic circle and the way we do that is um, hold it here like this, wrap it around your fingers, turn it over and cross it. Take your crochet hook under the first top strand, grab that other one, pull it under, and twist it. Now pinch it like that, pull your extra yarn, and pull through right there. Now pull that tight, that's your slip knot. I usually will untangle it a bit so that I can pull it easily. So this is what you end up with. Okay, now we're going to chain three. Now in magic circles, it's just kind of difficult. You just gotta keep trying until you figure out how to work these stitches into this loose circle um, comfortably. So I've got a slip knot. I'm gonna do one, two, three chains. Now I'm going to do 14 double crochets. Two, three. So work your 14 double crochets and then meet me back. Okay, once you get your uh, 14 double crochet and your three chain, <clears throat> pull your circle tight and then on that third chain, slip knot into that third chain. So you're gonna have 15 stitches total. 15 stitches total. Now I have provided a link to all of the materials I'm using on uh, in the comments and also a link to my blog where you can read more and see actual pictures of the steps um, if you want to. And you know, can of course use all different types of cotton yarn, but I do recommend cotton so that it absorbs the um, water or sweat from your cups easily. Also, so we've got um, 15 around. Now we're going to chain three, which counts as a stitch all the way throughout. So chain three. Now we're going to double crochet into that same hole uh, or stitch, which is just next to that. So that's one stitch there, or two stitches in one stitch. Now we're going to put two double crochets in every um, stitch around until we get back to the chain three. And when we get back to the chain three, we're going to slip knot into that third chain and we will have 30 stitches or yeah, 30, 30 double crochets is what we'll have. 
Okay, so y'all y'all do that and then meet me back around. Okay, so I'm back around. I've done two double crochets all the way around to equal 30 stitches, 30 double crochets. And I'm going to join into the top of the chain three. And then I'm going to chain three again and then I'm going to double crochet into that same stitch. Now I'm going to chain one and do two more double crochets into that stitch. So what I end up with is a chain three, which counts as one of my stitches, and then a double crochet, a chain, a double crochet, and a double crochet. Now, I'm going to skip here this second double crochet, and then this third one, and I'm gonna go into the fourth one. So I'm going to one, two, skip, and go double crochet into the next. I'm gonna put two double crochets, a chain, and then two double crochets. So there's two, chain, the yarn is pulling, and then two more double crochets. So one, two. All right, as you can see, this is where our petals will start forming. So, Skip two, one, two, and double crochet into the next one. And we're going to do this all the way around. Two double crochets, a chain, two double crochets, skip two, one, two, and it's easy to skip that first one if you um, if your double crochets kind of cover it up. You won't have enough stitches. So make sure you skip that first one, the next one, and then go into the, the next. So skip two and into the next. All right, y'all keep going around and meet me back around. Okay, so I'm back around. I've got my 10 groups and I'm going to slip knot into the third chain of the first stitch. And um, I already cut my yarn off. This is where we end the um, color, the gray color. And there we go. Now, um, you don't have to, but it, it is, um, easier when you add the next color to go ahead and um, weave your ends in. And so I've done that on my um, brown one here. Um, it also makes it less overwhelming when you have to weave the ends in when you don't have as many. So we're going to do the sunflower now, or finish the sunflower. Um, the way that you do that is um, you're going to, so I have my yarn like this and I just hook my hook underneath it and twist my yarn like that and then pull through and make a slip stitch or slip knot and then here where we're going to attach to this um, brown color to the center of our flower is just in any one of the chain one spaces okay so we're just going to slip stitch into that chain space and pull it nice and tight and I like to pull it kind of over to the side, to the right, because we're going to put six stitches and two chains in here. So we're going to chain three, which of course is going to be our first double crochet in this uh, round. And then we're going to do two more double crochets, which gives us a group of three. And then we're going to chain two and then three more double crochets in the same group. 
If y'all hear that, that's my air conditioner kicking on. I'm at my office. It has a window unit. Or bright. I really love this. Uh, I love cotton by um, from Hobby Lobby. It's very soft. Okay, so now we're going to double crochet into the next chain space. We're going to do three of those again. And then we're going to chain two and do three more double crochets. And this is what we're gonna do in every chain space around. And then we're going to join by doing a slip stitch into the top of the third chain. So if you want to go ahead and continue that, <coughs> excuse me, continue that around to complete this row and then come back to me we'll start the next row okay so we're back around and we've completed that row we've got 10 petals still we've got 10 chain two spaces and that's where we're going to start our next stitch is in this chain two space so we're going to double crochet eight double crochets into this chain two space. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to single crochet between the two double, the connecting double, double crochets right here. So we're going to single crochet right there. Now we're going to stretch my yarn out so I can quit hitting the camera pull. And then I'm going to do eight double crochets in this um, chain two space. So, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and single crochet between the two double crochets. And we're gonna continue that all the way around. So 10 times we're gonna do that, eight more times. So go ahead and do that. And then um, we're going to, of course, then we're going to um, single crochet right here. So when you do all of those um, eight sets of double crochets with the single crochets between, when you get to this double crochet, I mean this, this single crochet, I'm sorry, the single crochet here, meet me back up. Okay, so I've got eight double crochets in each chain two space with a single crochet between each double crochet join um, between the petals. And then I, I single crochet here and I'm going to single crochet into this next stitch and then into the next three to make a total of four single crochets. And then I'm going to chain two, one, two, and I'm gonna single crochet into the next four double crochets. Okay. 
All right, now I'm gonna chain three here between these. This next row, this, this last brown row, I'm going to single crochet into it like that. Push it tight and chain three. And then I'm going to single crochet in the first double crochet of this petal here, like that. Okay, and I'm just gonna do three more single crochets in the next three double crochets. And then I'm going to chain two and I'm gonna single crochet in the next four. All right, I'm gonna chain three. One, two, three. I'm going to come down here and insert my hook through this row and pull it tight and chain three. And then find that first double crochet and single crochet into it. Now let's stop and look, see? That's how we're getting that curvature of those petals in there. So I'm gonna do one more with you. So we did the chain three, we single crocheted and then we're gonna do three more single crochets and then we're going to chain two and four single crochets in the next four double crochets and then we're going to chain three, come down here, get that last brown row, and it's between those two double crochets where they meet up. And we're gonna chain three, and then we're gonna single crochet into that first double crochet of the next petal. And we're just gonna keep going around just like that until we complete the whole circle. And we will slip stitch into the very first single crochet of this round. So go ahead and do each petal this way until you get to that last petal and I will show you where to join it at. Okay. All right, I'll meet you back around. Okay, so we're back around to the last petal. And why oh, I messed that up. Okay, I'm back around to the last petal and we are going to connect there to a single crochet there, chain three, and then we're just going to slip stitch into this last, or the first double crochet of this row. And then snip your yarn and pull through to weave it off or to fasten it off. And there is a sunflower. Now, this one is pointing up, and I, what I do is I get each petal wet, just a little bit, and um, just the tips of them wet, and then just pull them around and straighten them out, um, pull that point, and then let it dry. Of course, I haven't gotten this one wet, I just finished. But you can see that when you do do that, it allows it to have this um, pointed petal shape. 
which I think makes the sunflower look very pretty. Now, each time it's washed, you'll probably have to do that um, because they're probably going to curl back up even after you block it the first time. So anyhow, or you can leave them this way. Um, I, I think they're, they're pretty either way. So anyhow, I hope that you, um, you know, enjoyed the tutorial of the sunflower or the flower coaster. And if you did, if you would comment, like, and uh, subscribe to my channel, I appreciate it. And again, all of the materials and the link to my website and blog are in the comments if you're interested in purchasing any of the items that I used. All right, all right, y'all have a good day, bye.